Don't know why I'm drifting, I'm drifting so Out of my mind Hello my Cancer friends, this is your reading. This is you versus them once again. And um, this is for the 19th through the 26th. <clears throat> this reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. I hope everybody is doing well. If you are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment um, if you feel so compelled. And um, let's get started. Let's see, how is the relationship for you in the past with this person? Six of Swords, kind of feel like you always, um, you felt like you were always the one that was trying to smooth things over, make things right, um, but nevertheless, you felt like things could always be made better, like you can always talk things out things would work out if um, you guys were on the same accord and um, there was clear and honest and genuine uh, communication is how you felt that's Aquarius energy there <clears throat> let's see how this person felt about your relationship from the past in the past ten of wands <laughs> they kind of disagree um, so it seems like you guys have different points of view of how things really were with the relationship. This person felt like they were doing all of the work by themselves, like um, they were carrying all of the burden here. Sagittarius energy. <clears throat> That's um, two uh, very different viewpoints of how you guys are um, seeing your relationship. Where is Cancer currently? What's going on with Cancer currently? The star. Another Aquarius energy. Um, strong Aquarius in your reading. <clears throat> currently you feel like you're, you're doing what you're supposed to do. Um, doing your part. But I'm, I'm sensing that you guys feel very distant from this person. Um, you feel like this is still your soulmate. That everything that has happened between the two of you, it was the way that it was supposed to happen. Okay, um, Including being with them. That, that is the main thing. That um, I don't think you guys have any regrets about your situation currently <clears throat> with this individual. Um, some of you may still be with this person, um, but are not on the greatest of terms even. Okay, let's see what's currently going on with them. What's currently going on with the other person? Four of Swords. They're not speaking. Um, they're really they're trying to figure things out at this point. Taking a break. Um, hmm. I feel that currently you guys are either, if you're together, you're not communicating a lot. You're not speaking. Um, but I'm feeling like most of you are not with this person and this person is refusing to talk. They're refusing to um, communicate and talk things out with you. I'm going to watch that up again. <clears throat> What's influencing Cancer currently? What's influencing Cancer? Five of Swords. Hmm. I feel that you guys are... You're wanting to fight for this person. Um, you feel like you are supposed to be with this individual. This is another Aquarius card, by the way. Um, communication is a little off, but I, I feel like you want to break their um, their silence. You, you want to do something to break their silence. And I don't think that it matters how you do it. Um, maybe you're thinking about 
doing something or saying something to make this person respond to you, even if it's something um, like starting an argument or something, something to get their attention is what I'm feeling because you feel like, you know, some communication, some talking is better than just silence, them ignoring you, okay? So, um, and I definitely feel like this person, you know, you're missing them. Um, I feel like you're not truly happy uh, without this person in your life. I feel like things are kind of boring for you right now with that um, Four of Cups energy under the bottom of the deck, feeling kind of complacent, not really knowing how to feel and what to do. <clears throat> What's influencing the other person currently? Nine of Swords. Hmm. They're doing a, a lot of thinking, um, but I feel that they're, they're feeling really trapped in their own thoughts. And they're having a hard time really letting um, any positive energy flow through them. Um, a lot of ruminating thoughts, thinking about things over and over and over again, basically driving themselves batty. Um, not talking about it though, just worrying, <clears throat> thinking about things that are not really um, true, you know, maybe thinking that things were more horrible than what they actually were or are. Let's see, what's coming in for Cancer? Nine of Cups, your wish is being fulfilled. The star is like the same, but on a massive level, okay? So I definitely get that um, you guys will get what it is, excuse me, that you want and that you deserve. And I feel like um, that is for this person to open up. I feel that um, they make you happy. They do. But also I'm getting that in the meantime, you know, you're doing very constructive things for yourself. I don't see that this person is doing that currently. It's like they're wallowing in their own little sea of um, grief. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what's coming in for them. What's coming in for... The other person. What's coming in for the other person? What's coming in? Huh. Healing. Oh, like three cards here. Ace of Cups. New love. New feelings. Loving oneself. The Hermit. This person's trying to figure out um, self love here. They're trying to figure out self-love. Um, I get this sense of loathing coming from this person. But um, this Nine of Swords energy um, and the Four of Swords energy is all about them trying to get to a happy place. Healing. Learning from their experiences and getting to a happy place. This is what they have coming in for them. Hmm. Because you can't really move forward in this Nine of Swords energy. You know, they're really trying to figure things out with this Nine of Swords. So they can put, you know, all of those, those nagging thoughts to bed. Okay. And I see them working towards that. So that's good for you guys if you are um, expecting this person to open up or wanting them to be open to you. What is the outcome for Cancer? What is the outcome for Cancer? Eight of Cups. Huh. Coming back. Coming back. This person's like, emotionally, and, and you probably can feel the shift in the energy and we are currently in Mercury retrograde. Um, I definitely 
see that this person is coming back. If they walked away from you, if they've been distant emotionally, um, they're coming back. First, they have to come out of their head and get themselves together and learn to love themselves before they can actually extend themselves to fully loving you. So I see them working on that. They're working on that. Okay. And once they get clear, oh, they'll be back around. They'll be back around. What is the outcome for the other person? What's the outcome? Strength. You see this? Forgiveness. Restraint. Having the know-how to endure, to persevere. Endure. Restraining themselves from certain behaviors that are not good for them. Okay, so I definitely see this person opening up to you. But first they have to get their themselves together. Get their thoughts together. You have that hermit, they have that hermit energy there. And they are seeking answers within themselves though. And once they get that figured out, they'll be back. They'll, they'll be back. Trust and believe, okay? So, we have Leo, Aries, um, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Energy is here. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius is here. Um, I don't see any Earth energy here, though. Okay? So... But, you know, this situation is not stable. It's really not with this individual. So anyway, guys, that is what I have for you. And um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now. Uh, I've been blind too long, now I finally see The real and fake, who's down for me? The situation wasting my time I had enough, I'm tired of the lies Blah, 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 da-da-da-da-da What are you saying?